Hey guys, it is Wisdom Wednesday. Is that a good glare? Okay, just want to make sure it's not glaring. Because where I am, there's like this glare on you. Alright. You look good. So, um, I'm here with Bonda Flu, our guest speaker for today. <laughs> Don't you feel special? <laughs> um, and we are going to talk about why consist consistency matters. I'm going to check just to make sure. That's my routine. Yes. I am live um, because y'all know technology and we don't always get along so last week I did a challenge for all of us um, including myself and I wasn't that great at it I'll be honest with you I did two days of the challenge which was to oil um, topically every two hours and um, yeah I did two days it was gonna be for seven days I did two days and then all of the rain outs for my husband's job yeah totally threw my schedule off and that was it I did think about it but <laughs> I didn't do it of course I was diffusing and still using my routine but I didn't like do it past the two days however the two days how long did you last two hours I asked a few times and then my timer accidentally turned it off and so then I had to get back into it and I'd go off. So it was it was not big chunks of consistency. Okay. So I don't know if anyone else did better than us. Um, but you know, we want to hear compliantly um, what things happened if you were consistent or not consistent, whatever, um, in your oiling. But I want to talk today um, with Fonda about why consistency matters. So um, last week I talked about, um, you know, getting out of the pharmaceutical mindset and into the mindset of health and wellness. And hey Lee, happy Wednesday to you happy too. Wednesday. So um, we talked about like instead of treating our uh, bodies only when they get sick or when they, um, we start feeling yucky, if we actually use the products consistent, consist, good. consistently, consistently. Is there an oil that helps vocabulary? Frankincense. <laughs> oh, we don't have frankincense out here. Oh, there's, there's Valor too, and it has frankincense in it, but I don't have the smell of Valor too, so I'm not gonna open that one. Anyway, um, I think Ula Grow has frankincense in it. Who knows? So anyway, um, why consistency matters is what we're going to talk about today. Um, so I'm just going to ask you, first of all, okay, how long have you been using Young Living? This June will be two years, in fact, in a few days will be two years because on June 10th is my happy Deanna day. Deanna it's Deanna Day, Day cuz oh, that's when we, we came met. to my house and that was scanned the first. on June 10th. Wow. We became People friends. Have a happy Deanna Day. I know. I have a happy Deanna Day. So Does everybody have a calendar? else? <laughs> Does it? It's on my calendar. It's on my calendar. Happy Deanna Day. So well, wow. it's just called Deanna Day, but I, I am the happy Deanna I think uh, Tony needs a happy Deanna Day for sure. Yeah, I'm going to turn my phone ring so her off. June 5th, so. it says we became friends on Facebook and then on June 10th was when my Zyden scan was done. So Awesome. Okay, so almost two years. Mm -hmm. Like, like seriously, Sunday mm -hmm. it will or no Saturday, Saturday will be two years. Um, so right when you first got them, did you use them consistently? No. Why? Because I didn't really understand. First of all, I say it's a I guess a blonde moment. I did not even understand what they were. I just knew that our family needed them and we needed support. I don't even remember what I thought, but. Um, I, I ordered them and I kept looking at them and I'd smell them every once in a while, but I didn't really understand how to apply them. We don't, uh, I think set up, we're much better set up for education and I didn't check a lot of stuff, but we're much better on educating. And so I kept looking at them and I put something on here or there and I do remember you telling me one day, stop just throwing them on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I just have put a purpose behind it. Put yeah. this on, put that yeah. on. And, um, but you know, even through that, I want to say it was, um, and I don't have it written down, but somewhere in September that I finally decided to become more consistent because I started to accumulate a lot of stuff by this time because I'd ordered quite a bit for, for our family, excuse me. And, um, truth. Yeah. 
because we were we were needy. She ordered lots. I ordered lots, <laughs> and we were very needy. She's just like me. So I um, of September because you came and we had the first class in October, end of October. Right. And so I tell people somewhere in there, I remember starting to use more consistently. And I do remember, again, don't have dates for any of this, but at some point I remember looking at Ken and saying, I feel better. I told him I can't put my finger on it. I don't know exactly what to say, but I feel different. I guess I think of the word I use different. I feel different. Mm -hmm. And it was just some sort of internal calm to a degree that I had really, um, I only experienced one other time before when I had settled some of my air, occupational therapy work down with that Maspatova system. I found a, that's the first time I felt a shift in my body because I could have very easily been called an ADHD kid, um, very much so. An adult, maybe. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. And so um, I felt that shift to where there was an inner calm, but it, it brought me so far. And that was good, but the oils to me work differently. I, it's I, they go in and they just go in your cells and they just do what God intended them to do. That's the beauty of it. So Definitely. it took a, a consistency starting to use it. Like I say, I felt the shift. Good. Okay, so um, one of the things I just told Vonda was, of course, she is like the um, research guru. She brought like stuff. <laughs> To, what do you need to, to talk to you about, <laughs> um, but and I'm gonna let her go for it. I just want to share with you. I'm pretty simple-minded, and so therefore the Lord speaks to me in simple-minded terms. And um, this morning, as I was running, um, I just asked the Lord. I said, "Why? Why do we need them consistently?" And He immediately spoke to me this scripture in Genesis, where I mean, I think it's even in Genesis one where um, he created the herbs of the field and he says, I give them to you for your food. Okay, now keep in mind I'm running. We ran four miles this morning and food is very important to a runner. Okay, so I understand food at this point. I'm starting to get hungry. We're almost done with the run. And one thing I realize, and we should all realize, we don't just eat food when we are sick. No. We don't just eat food when we start feeling blah. We eat food consistently. Hopefully, we eat food um, consistently. So, um, that made sense to me. The, uh, the herbs of the field, which that's what these little bottles are, literally, it's just the oil that comes from the plant. The, um, the herbs of the field are literally our food. They are made for our food. That phone's just gonna keep going off, so I have to turn it over. So, um, so it makes sense to me that that's why you use them consistently. consistently. Um, Vonda talking about like she was using them and then she just says, I feel better. That's really the way it's supposed to be. I don't think it's supposed to be, be that a jolt. pharmaceutical, yeah, jolt, or like, you know, we talk about Nisha Red not giving you a Red Bull effect, you know, even uh, Nitro doesn't give you that Red Bull effect. It's just, oh, I feel better. So to me, that's a very simple answer. That's kind of like all I like required. Um, but I always get more after Vondo starts talking about the more of it. So I'm just going to let her go. So why does consistency matter to you? Well, I think, you know, we are in any way of our life need consistency. I think that's for me, what I look for in my relationship with God, He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Mm -hmm. And we have that peace knowing that He never changes. Mm -hmm. The world may, the mountains may fall in the sea, all these things may crumble around us, and we are on firm, solid ground. And He's going to be there. He says, I will never leave you or forsake you. And the same way with, you know, David meditated on His Word day and night is... We need that food consistently from His Word. We need food in our lives. We will start to feel, even if we don't have sugar problems, mm -hmm. we're going to feel weak and depleted if we don't eat food on a consistent basis. If you True. go six hours without food, you're hungry. Yeah, you know, six, eight, you know, yeah. something like that. That's I tell people after my classes. You're not a talk. nice person. No, you know that commercial. You need some food. But <laughs> the thing that I've been looking at more and more lately, and Deanna's way ahead of me on this ball game, is eating food for our life and food for our brain health. And so if I eat something, because I and I did this forever, I just needed something in my belly because I was stressed out and 
little OCD and a little ADHD and those type things. And so it was, I was burning up sugar in my anxiety, so I was putting a lot of sugar in me. So a Snickers was a quick fix. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, uh, my body would come up way up and then, you know, this is neutral. It would crash the same amount. And people, I've talked to them lately and, they, lately and they said, I didn't realize that. But if your body goes up in sugar this amount, it's got to equal out by going down in sugar this amount. So you've got a up and a down. And I would do that all day because the food wasn't very good and nutritious. So we want yes. good, nutritious hey, food to sustain us. Oh, there she is. Hey. Mm -hmm. So um, in that aspect, just, you know, kind of like when I was just throwing stuff on. Yes, the nice thought, thing about the oils is that God gives them an innate ability to go in and do some things. But if I, Dr. Jim Bob says it, you can't get, you can't get help from the oils you don't use. Yeah. Sure. You know, simple as that. But he also said when we went to see him um, last year, the oils are metabolized in your body in about 23 minutes, 20 something minutes. They're gone, they've done their job. So then, what else do you have? You either have to live off your own resources then, and if I continue to live off my own mental and physical resources, because where does your, pro where does your energy source come from if you don't get it from outside sources? It comes from your own body, <laughs> your muscles, and other stuff. You, you metabolize through that because you've got to have an energy source. You have to have an energy source. So if I'm depleting my body, by the end of the day, it's not pretty. Yeah. I'm depleted. And if at the end of the day I've gone up and down with these sugar spikes and up and down, I like to say, I'm just, who's that? Hey, Miss Ellen. And so that's what we want is in consistency is that if we put on more often. So I will have people that will tell me, well, I'll put, I'll put some on this morning. Is that good? I'm like, mm -hmm. you know, when did you eat last? Right. You know, if I'm talking to you at 9 o'clock at night and you put some on this morning for emotional support, yeah. it's gone. It's long gone. And that's why it's good, too, to diffuse because when you're diffusing, okay. that's getting in the air. And it stays there. And it falls onto your bodies. And so it's not, you know, you don't have to necessarily, you know, think to put them on. Um, but I still do, especially like um, yesterday was a stressful day for me. And so hormonal wise, you know, it was that dragon time. time. And so um, I didn't smell good because I don't like dragon time. But um, I was using that. I was using stress away. And I used it multiple times because my body was literally craving that. But I was also diffusing stress away and orange and, you know, just very um, mellowing. Sorry, there's like lizards all over our deck. So they're like all of a sudden you see something moving. And we've had snakes too. So we're kind of, you know, just checking just, it out. You know, just making sure there's no snakes on this deck. Um, so anyway, so yeah, I mean, you've got to... It just makes sense you've got to be consistent. And the diffusing, the thing that you want to know is even though our diffusers from the basic starter kit, premium starter kit, come with three to four hours, they will shut off. People uh, have asked, but actually those molecules are still floating in the air. For hours. Light, for hours. Yeah. So even if you don't get a chance to in the middle of the night to refill it, which you never should, just let it go. It's, it's circulating throughout the air. And so you're still breathing it in. And yeah. so if it cuts off, don't go over there and freak out, you know, like during the day. You don't have to necessarily. Right. So, you know, you can be um, more judicious with your oils. You don't have to, like, pour them in there all the time. You know, right. your support's still going to be there floating around in the air, even with that three to four hours. And then the intermittent cycle would let, them get, let it last a little longer. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the goal. I tell people from the premium starter kit, the, the diffuser is gold. Yes. You know? And one thing I love, like, um, I don't know, a lot of people, they don't really realize what a diffuser does, but a diffuser actually breaks down those molecules at, so they're even smaller. So if you look at one drop of essential oil, when it's put on topically, it is enough to cover every cell in our body, is it 4,000 times? It's 40 million trillion molecules oh, is in yeah. one drop of oil. So I'm pretty sure it covers every cell in our body 4,000 times. A lot. So if you take that one molecule and you break it up even smaller, then, yeah, that's even more easily absorbed into our bodies, into our children's bodies. Um, also, you've got the monoterpene and the sesquiterpene difference there, too. So monoterpenes evaporate super fast. 
So if you're doing like your citrus oils, then they're actually not gonna stay in the air as long as like a cedar wood, vetiver, um, even patchouli that we get for free this month, um, the blue cypress, those are all high in sesquiterpenes. So they're gonna stay in the air longer. Um, my daughter, Abby, loves cedar wood love cedarwood and so she diffuses that every single night when I go in there hours later sometimes a long time later to wake her up um, I that's the first thing I smell when I go in well it's because you know those yeah they have hung around of Dr. Cole uh, Cole Woolley I don't know why I have such a hard time saying his name um, says uh, sesquiterpene oils are personal oils because they hang around all the time so it's just yeah it's a good way to remember it and and we learned at convention last year the one of the ways you can tell that is remember he talked about if you put peppermint on the table it's going to evaporate and be gone quick but if you drop a drop of cedar wood or vetiver mm -hmm. on the table mm -hmm. things gonna be there forever <laughs> because it's so thick and viscous and you can smell like the the higher in uh monoterpene oils like peppermint or lavender or frankincense as soon as you open that bottle a person's gonna be able to smell it really fast across the room where the sesquiterpenes are not so they are very slow slow moving oils so yeah. um, diffusing is great in so many ways um, for that I personally love it just because I do it every morning I get my diffusers running and then I don't think about it I know that my kids are getting what they need I know that I'm getting what I need um, and then of course I have my water that I put oils in lemon um, today Use and this peppermint I've been on lemon the last two days I don't know why my body should switch I love the lemon in my water I, want lemon. I love jade lemon in my water hey Sasha um, I also love citrus fresh I'm kind of stuck on citrus fresh right now go like ahead that. Well, and the other thing that we want to look at, and I talked about this a while back, is that if you're picking up this bottle more often, so this one is Joy, and I want emotional support, but, you know, one of the just the basic, simple ways of thinking about it is that as I put it on, and every time I put it on today, I was like, I, I saw that word. Mm -hmm. And so that word was right there of, and so when things would ha of Joy, and so when things would happen, I would be like, this is what I'm working on today. This is what I'm working on today. So I've got my physical support and my emotional support working together because I see this. You know, there are times when my, my brain wants to be joyful, but my body ain't happy. <laughs> Anybody been there? My body's just grumpy. I feel grumpy. I got up on the wrong side of the bed, you know, or something like that. And I, I just feel that way. But this way, my mind and my body are working together. So the beauty of just seeing it on there, there's something magical about that name in one way. It's just that, you know, there are oils for this specific thing in here yes and I'm gonna learn about that this weekend exactly what some of that more, more of that is but at the same time that's what it is to be in front of your face which is why we study God's Word night and day it's always putting the world's gonna have all this negativity it's gonna have these negative things of you know what's going on chaos in the world mm -hmm. and then you know people around you are gonna have negativity you're opening God's Word you're hearing this side too you don't want to be filled with that side you want that to be as much in you soaking in and in, in your yeah. face and reading it as much so yeah. there's also just a way of looking at the bottle as you put it on every two hours yeah every 20 minutes I used to you saying that remind me I used to have this pastor who would say you know the more that you put the word in the more that pushes the world out the trash out so if you look at the oils we're not saying the oils are the word of God but we are likening the two okay so if you're the more that you're putting the oils on we know that the oils detox our systems we know that they push stuff out mm -hmm. so in fact if you look up patchouli um, so we get that for free this month and I already said that but Tony scanned for it the other day so we started you know you look it up and you see like what I mean I know basic things about patchouli but it actually says that detoxifies or it uh, breaks down um, toxins in the body and so that's interesting to me I never knew that about patchouli so if you look at if you're putting that oil on constantly then it's pushing the garbage out it's getting rid of it and we all have garbage I don't care how clean you eat I don't care how um, great your diet is we are in 2017 there is stuff going on all around us 
that it's an environment. Um, it's just everywhere. And then our own emotions, which are can be toxic. toxic sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so. Your faces, that's my emojis. Yeah, okay. that, that dragon time time. Those emotions can be toxic. You deal with that person brain. that keeps you know, rubbing you the wrong way, that's toxic. Um, you meet someone new who rubs you the wrong way, you know, that's toxic. So, uh, or it can be, unless we do what Vonda was talking about and choosing, you know, joy. So, anyway, that is basically, did you want to say anything else? That is basically it. Consistency, y'all, matters. If you get nothing else out of it, know that you've got to get the good stuff in to push the bad stuff out. So, keep oiling. Um, keep you know, um, being consistent with it, it does pay off. Don't look at them at a, as a medicine. Don't look at them as a drug. Um, are, you know, they good for you? Yes. So just look at, you know, what areas need to be supported and do it. Support, 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 support. So, yep. all right. You guys have an awesome Wednesday. We'll talk to you later. Bye.